Pentecost and the church was out thirty minutes ago. Consistency. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We lack 
consistency. What, what has happened is we have gotten to a place of complacency in God. We've gotten to a place where we are comfortable in God and we stop chasing after our original us. It's okay, y'all can just look at me if you want to. But, 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 but what, what happens is when we get complacent with where we are, we, we get complacent with, with being broke, we get complacent with being sick, we get complacent with, with not having enough and not being supported in our pews empty. We get complacent with, with, with having to go, go, and go, and go, and go, and our gas tank is on E. We get complacent with not having food in the house. We get complacent with our children acting any kind of way. We get okay with, with our children making below par. Listen, we are not called to be that way. That's Amen. not of God. Amen. All right. Amen. Do you know that being broke is not of God? It's not of God. Did you know that being sick is not of God? I know, sir. <laughs> the Bible says, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from my wicked ways, it said, then. God works on the if-then principle. Somebody said the if-then principle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means if you will, then I will. What has happened is that we we have we have we 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 taken the if out of it and we say, well, God do it, and then we're going to say, then you need to do it now. We say, God do it, then do it now. But He said, if you will, that is conditional. Listen, what has happened, people of God, is that we don't want to, we don't want to conform anymore to what God has already called us to do. We don't want to conform to what He's already outlined in His Word. We don't want to conform to the things that He has already. For us, it's okay. You don't have to say nothing, but I know I'm telling the truth. We don't want to conform. And so, what happens if we stay sick? We're not delivered. Some of our family members are not saved because we won't be consistent. Let me take you to the world. I'm not going to show you some stuff tonight. I want to take you to the world. All right. Numbers 23, 19, you don't have to, you don't have to go to it, but I want to show you this. We are okay. God, Jesus, is supposed to be our ultimate example, right? right? All right. And he was consistent. Let me show you. Numbers 23 and 19, and this is from the Amplified Version. It says that God is not a man that he should tell or act a lie. Okay? Neither the son of man that he should feel repentance for what he has promised. Has he, has he said, has he said, and has he shall not do it? Or has, has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? What does that mean? Amen. That means every single promise that God has given us, he has already brought it to pass. Every single thing that God has said, he's already done it. So he is consistent on his claim, what's Amen. wrong with us? What happened? Yes, sir. What happened? What happened? We 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 got okay with, with just being subpar. Listen, we said, oh, we serve a God who is a king, and we're supposed to be excellent. But listen, it is not excellent when when somebody who you try to witness to gotta help you go get gas down the street. first. Amen. So he's dealing with me with, with me with this also. Listen, if you know you have high blood pressure, diabetes, why are you eating ham and, 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 and burgers and cake and french fries and stuff? If you know that it's destroying your body, why are we doing it? We're talking about it, but what happens is what happens is what happens is we holler, oh God, we want to be healed. Oh God, heal me. Heal me. Listen, get you some water. I want to see the whole man healed and delivered and set free because the Bible says, I pray that you are being held and prosper even as your soul prosper. And listen, I can't dance and shout on the, on, on the inside and feel the Lord rumbling and tumbling all on the inside of me and I feel bad on the outside. I want my outside to be able to keep up with what's going on on the inside of me. All right. 
All right, so if he works on the infinite principle. All right, uh, uh, Jesus said in uh, John 15 and 4, he said, Abide in me, and I in you, and, and the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vein. Neither can you unless you abide in me. That is the secret to spiritual growth, to abide and be consistent. To live and to be consistent. Listen, I'm going to tell my testimony, and I'm going to my seat with this. But what, what happened is a few weeks ago, I don't know what came over me, but, but something just said, go and get you a planter, and get you some soil, and go get you some plants, and go plant your box. And I said, well, okay, that, that's a little strange, because number one, nobody in my family that I know of, they don't, they don't plant nothing. So that's the first thing. Number two, I... I I never thought I had much of a green thumb anyway, so I just I, I said, okay. So I went and I got my stuff and then I got my boxes and I got and I put my soil and I got my chair outside and I sat in my chair and I, I, I put my soil in my boxes and I, I put my plants in the boxes and while I was at the store, I picked up these little bulbs. Everybody knows flower bulbs, are yes, yes, flower bulbs? Okay. So I picked up some, I picked up some flower bulbs. And this is going to bless you, I promise you, I promise you. If you stay with me, it's going to bless you. And I planted the bulbs in the box. All right? Amen. And so I went out and I, and I watered the box. And I watered the box. And I watered the box. <laughs> and what happened was after th about three, four days, I was like, nothing's happening. What? After about three or four days, I started getting a little, <clears throat> did I do it right? Did I follow the directions like that's a good one. Huh? You're following the directions like I was supposed to. Do. My God, my God, if you only understood. So one day, it was about 4 30 in the morning, and I was on my way out the door to work because I got to be at work at 5 o'clock in the morning. And I have soda lights that I put inside the box. But I walked by the boxes. Yes, yes. And I had to do a double take because I wasn't sure what I saw. But I saw some little green things about this big standing up inside the boxes. Yes. And God spoke to me the rest of the day. He said, if you just stay consistent with what you are supposed to do, I will do what I'm supposed to do. Yes. You will have to fight. Yes. You will have to fight. Yes. 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 So that's what he said, people of God. He said, if you stay consistent with what you're supposed to do, the 
Hallelujah. Come on. He's going to transfer it to me.